Hey there who's from Piotnet Bricks here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom Bricks dynamic element by HTML and CSS. I'll demonstrate how powerful Piotnet Element Creator is. I found an eye-catching demo on the website, codepen.io. That's 3D Flipkart. You guys can find out multiples other fancy demos here. Let's get started. In WP Dashboard, access Piot Netbricks, then All Elements. Click on Add New and fill out the name of new element. On this example, I named the element 3D Flipkart. On Bricks Panel Editor, reach to Element Creator and click on it. On the General Settings of the Content tab, Fill out the title and name. Similar to a slug name, this name has to be unique, with Latin characters and no space, no number, separated by underlines, like slug's format. In the next versions, this one will be automatically created. For categories, you can choose General. Move on the render part that displays on front end of element. Back to original source of this example. You can get its HTML and embed to render box. OK, go to CSS part. Similarly, embed the appropriate CSS codes to CSS box. Do not forget to publish it because the element is on draft status when having been just created. Now, create to any page or post. Let's reload it. On Bricks Categories Editor, you will recognize the element that you just created. Click on it. Let's try hovering on it. The flip animation works perfectly, as in the website, codepen.io. Fine. Let's go to the detailed configurations, such as dynamic of the title, description, and the button text, button link. Back on the the Piotnet element creator, I'll show step by step to create 3D flip cart element. There are six remarkable categories to configure, settings, controls, render, CSS, JS, and in queue. On the controls, a place to configure your main elements. Click on Add New Control. Controls must start with Group Type. As you can see, Corresponding Settings tab displayed on Reproduction Editor. To the second control. Create dynamic fields like Title. Name is Title. Default box for the title. Keep going to third control. Configure dynamic for the description. Similarly to fourth and fifth part, the dynamic of button text and button link. Don't worry, in catching up my setting, all the illustration setup will be shown on our documentation. In the last control, the dynamic for background. For type option, it is image. Name is background image.
One of the most important parts of building your element is render. You guys can use PHP or Twig. With this demonstration, I'll use PHP. Then, custom domain should be revised like this. Notice for Twig, you can using this one. As I said, on this demonstration, and we're applying PHP, then reback it. The title has two constituents on both front end and back end. This is the description. I'll revise these codes and please reach to attached file on documentation to refer these ones. These codes are for button text. These highlighted codes are for background image. I put a variable to get the value of background image URL. In case, users uploaded the images, I put these codes. The background image URL will react the results, full of maximum size or by default. Keep revising the URL of background image by PHP. Next to the URL of the button, customize this a tag format. Bricks Builder made controls topic for developers, you can figure out more via Bricks Academy. For instance, I'm going to apply their link control. To set link attributes by passing attribute key and link settings, refer to my highlighted codes. Then embed those codes to render box and adjust them. Done, I'll publish it. Access any page or post, and make sure to reload it. Pick 3D Flipkart element and click on it.
I'll select a background image. Try hovering on it. I'll change the contents. As you can see, my element completely dynamic values. There is display matter here, button text sticks to description. I got it, just need to block display of the flipbox button. Save and reload it. Let's recheck the result. It works perfectly. That's everything I want to demonstrate in this tutorial video of Piotnet Element Creator. I hope you enjoyed this one. It will be great if you guys can share your elements for Piotnet community in the near time.